use your God power to get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Chapter 1, Your God Power All great philosophies and religions say that we were made in God's image. What does that mean? What is an image anyway? Of course, most of us think of an image as a picture or how something looks. Obviously, it's not how we look because we all look different. But then image does mean likeness. It must be that we were made in the likeness of God. But that raises a whole new bunch of questions. How are we like God? Is it because we think? Is it having thoughts? No, that can't be right either. Because animals think and have thoughts too. So, what makes us like God, but different than animals? Is it because we make decisions? No, that's not it either. Animals decide if something is good to eat or whether they are in danger or not. So what is the answer then? It has to be like God, on the one hand, but at the same time, different than animals, but it's not thinking, thoughts, or deciding. We must have a special ability or power like God that animals don't have. It must be a God power. What is this special God power? What is it and how does it work? This God power that we all have must be something special if God has it too. It must be a very powerful and special gift for us if we have it and animals don't. But what is this mysterious God power that we all have and how can we start using it? Your God power is very simple and easy to use and yet it is the most powerful ability known to man. Your God power is the ability to change reality by assigning meaning. There is nothing else that even comes close to this God power. This is the one power that God has, and with it, he created the universe and everything in it. The entire universe and everything in it, including us, are made up of and created from pure energy. The only power and ability that is necessary to create the universe from energy is the ability to define and assign meaning to the energy and it becomes. What is a planet and what is the meaning of a planet? It is the definition of and the meaning of Earth that forms it and maintains it. There is definition and meaning in a star a planet, and a human life. It is through assigning meaning that anything can be manifested from the energy of the universe. Without meaning, there is nothing. Nothing can exist without already having definition and meaning. This includes everything from solid matter to non-physical things such as situations, circumstances, and events. They all exist and have meaning. This is God's power. And because we were made in his image, we have it too. Yes, you have the same power as God, but it is somewhat muted in your human experience because of immersion, which you will learn about later in this book. It is through your immersion that you use your God power to create and form the boundaries of your own physical human experience. More on that later. So, how do you use your God power and why is it so great? While you will get a better understanding of this as the book unfolds, 
I will give you a few examples of how it works right now just to get you started. Many of you in the self-help fields will recognize this information. Only now you will get a better understanding of how and why it works. I am speaking of visualization. It's not exactly visualization that is the key, but visualization is one method of asserting meaning. Before you can really understand visualization, you must understand how your mind, not your brain, works. I always get a good laugh whenever I hear someone say, you are tricking the brain because it doesn't know whether you are actually performing the exercise or just imagining it. Hmm. They say this because they really don't understand the reality mechanism. Everything that you do is giving meaning. This is like animals. When you exercise, you are communicating in a physical way. This activity is working these muscles and as a result will cause muscle growth. That is the meaning of lifting weight. So wherever there is meaning, <laughs> and there is always meaning, there is the result and response to that meaning. The muscle gets bigger and stronger. It is important to note that the muscle is not responding to the exercise, but to the meaning of the exercise. Everything is operating on meaning, always on meaning, only on meaning, and nothing but meaning. So when animals run, the meaning is the muscle is exercising, and the result in response to the meaning is stronger muscle. So far, we are just like animals. We do something which has meaning, and then we get the result from that activity that had meaning. Remember, the result is always from the meaning and not from the activity itself. The activity itself only serves to convey a certain meaning. That's all it does. Here this little illustration says, God power given. Human beings? Yes. Animals? No. Here's where we use our God power to accomplish things that animals have no way to match. By the way, I use animals by comparison because it is easy to see the difference between those who have God power, humans, and those who do not, animals. We will be using exercise by lifting weights as our example. While we are lifting the weight, in our mind, we can change the meaning of what we are doing. In our mind only, we can see ourselves as lifting a heavier weight, doing more exercise than we are actually physically doing. The result? Of course, the muscles get even bigger than they would have been before because the result, response, is always based on the meaning and not the actual activity. In fact, there have been many studies that have shown that those who didn't even exercise at all, no physical movement at all, but only visualized the weightlifting activity in their minds, built exactly as much muscle as those who actually did the hard work and actually exercised. This is because both of these groups were giving meaning to what they were doing, one by actually doing it, and the other just by visualizing it. Naturally, for an animal to get stronger, the only choice it has is to give the meaning by actually running, because it has no ability to assign or give meaning in any other way. You can begin to see how powerful and valuable this ability to create and assign meaning is. Options. Now activating the next video play options. One moment please. Click on the green arrow to start watching the next video. Or, click on the red arrow to start watching the prior video. Or, click on the tan arrow to go to the main course menu and guide.
with links to all course chapters, excerpts, and special reports. Up next, special video options. Click on your choice of course videos, menus, and excerpts. Now switching to the special video options menu and activating the video selection buttons. Click on your selection number to start watching the video. Fifteen seconds till we switch to the next page with a free download information. Pause the video now if you need more time to review the available selections. This is the end of this course video. Its video number is listed above. To watch the next video, simply click on the next video in number sequence. Thank you.